Massive eruption on sun hurls coronal mass ejection towards Earth. September 19, 2023. In a stunning celestial event, a massive eruption on the sun has caused a coronal mass ejection, CME, that is hurtling towards Earth. The eruption, which occurred recently, featured large flares and prominences shooting out from the sun's surface. Scientists estimate that the ejected material and particles could reach speeds of over a million miles per hour as they approach our planet. This enormous CME poses a significant risk to Earth's magnetic field, potentially disrupting communication systems, power grids, and satellite operations. Space agencies, including NASA, are closely monitoring the situation using advanced satellite technology and monitoring systems to accurately track the trajectory and impact of the CME. While the event is expected to create stunning auroras in certain areas, there are concerns about potential disruptions. Air traffic control, GPS systems, and satellite-based navigation may experience temporary issues as the solar particles interact with the Earth's magnetosphere. Scientists and engineers are collaborating with governmental agencies and industry leaders to minimize the impact of this solar event. Power grids are being closely monitored, and contingency plans are being implemented. Citizens are advised to stay informed through official channels and follow safety instructions issued by relevant authorities. It is crucial to be prepared for temporary power outages and interruptions in communication services. As the world prepares for the arrival of this massive CME, scientists and space enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the awe-inspiring auroras that may grace the night sky in the coming days. Venezuela is exploring the possibility of sending an astronaut on a Chinese moon mission, an unprecedented achievement for the Latin American nation in space exploration. The move is part of Venezuela's plan to expand its presence in the global space industry and enhance its technological capabilities. Talks are underway with China to establish this strategic partnership, which would offer valuable knowledge sharing and training opportunities for Venezuelan scientists and engineers. While specific details are yet to be disclosed, China is expected to provide the necessary resources and expertise for Venezuela's participation. This collaboration not only strengthens diplomatic ties but also presents an opportunity for Venezuela to showcase its scientific prowess and inspire younger generations. Additionally, Venezuela's involvement contributes to China's ambitious space exploration plans and could expand our understanding of the moon's surface and potential scientific discoveries. However, the endeavor poses challenges in terms of cost, technical requirements, and securing funding. Nevertheless, with China's support, Venezuela may soon embark on its first lunar mission, reaching new heights in its space ambitions. China has successfully launched a new batch of Yaogan reconnaissance satellites, enhancing its surveillance capabilities. These satellites, known for their advanced imaging and radar capabilities, provide high-resolution imagery and monitor activities from space. They are crucial for China's national security, offering valuable intelligence and supporting defense operations. Although the exact number of satellites launched is undisclosed, experts believe it could consist of multiple satellites. Equipped with cutting-edge technologies like synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical sensors, these satellites can capture clear images in challenging weather conditions. They enable China to monitor military movements, maritime activities, border surveillance, and critical infrastructure worldwide. The successful launch demonstrates China's progress in space technology and its commitment to national security. It also highlights China's determination to assert its position as a space-faring nation. While primarily for security purposes, the Yaogan satellites also contribute to scientific research and disaster management. The deployment of these satellites emphasizes the growing reliance on space-based assets worldwide. China's launch solidifies its status as a significant player in space exploration and reinforces its commitment to national security. Asteroid Dimorphos, known for its proximity to Earth, collided with a NASA spacecraft, leaving scientists puzzled as it exhibits unusual behavior. Initial reports indicate that the spacecraft deviated from its planned trajectory, resulting in a direct collision that damaged both the spacecraft and the asteroid. Images captured by the damaged spacecraft reveal significant changes in Dimorpho's appearance. Efforts are underway to regain control of the spacecraft and gather crucial data. Astronomers worldwide are intrigued by this event, 
speculating that it could provide unique insights into the composition and dynamics of near-Earth objects NEOs. Further updates are eagerly awaited. The Mars Society has announced plans to establish a research institution dedicated to developing technology for colonizing Mars. Experts from aerospace engineering, robotics, agriculture, and resource utilization will collaborate to overcome challenges of settling on Mars. Objectives include developing propulsion systems for interplanetary travel, sustainable life support, and adaptable habitats for the harsh Martian environment. The Institute will also research resource utilization to sustain future settlers. The Mars Society aims to accelerate technology development and foster international collaboration. Securing funding and partnerships is underway, and the Society hopes to collaborate with space agencies, private companies, and academic institutions. This initiative brings humanity closer to making Mars a second home.